Hey, the second suspect in the brutal killing of a North Shore mom testified in her defense. Haley Danderan claimed her then boyfriend, Stephen Brown, was the one who committed the murder, and she went along out of fear for her safety. Manolo Morales has more. Danderan told jurors that Brown was always beating her and would even threaten to hurt her family. She said she tried to run away from him multiple times. There was a couple times when he was hitting me that. Like, I tried to, I tried to run away, but I didn't get very far. She said when she and Brown broke into the North Shore home where Tama Boyneville was killed, her understanding was that they were just going to steal some food. She said they were in different parts of the house when he called her over, and when she saw him, he had a machete in his hand and blood on his shirt. On the floor in front of him, there was a woman that I've never seen before. She she had blood on her and around on the floor around her. Um, she was covering her neck like that. She said she was in shock and didn't know what was happening. Many times her attorney asked, why didn't she just leave? I was scared that if I tried to leave, he would kill me next. She said Brown also forced her to tie Boyneville up and put a plastic bag over her head. And when Brown brought Boyneville's eight-year-old daughter inside to tie her up, Dan Durant said she waited outside the bedroom and did not take part in it. Under cross-examination, the prosecutor points out that Dan Durant chose to live on the beach with Brown, even though she had relatives here. You didn't choose to live with your uncles, right? Yes. You didn't choose to live with your aunts. Relevance, ask Nature of the relationship. Yes. Bell claims that Dan Durant chose to steal some of the items from the house on her own. Trial resumes on Thursday. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.